All right, hope everyone's doing well today. I am about to do my last shave with the um, home-like uh, razor. Um, and uh, today I'll be using the a couple different base plates that I didn't use in the three previous shaves. Um, real quick, so I was using Ethos the last couple shaves. Um, I'm still using Ethos, but now this is my first shave using a little bit of the lavender um, scent, or lavender supreme. Um, I uh, let me get lathered up here real quick. I did hear um, that this ethos uh, from a couple people might benefit from a little bit of a uh, slower assembly or slower um, uh, water addition, and the, it gets pretty thirsty. So just kind of take your time and get the. Uh, get the lather pretty wet. Um, okay, so a couple things, you guys. This is probably gonna be one of, uh, one of the more glowing videos that I've done, probably on video, um, and for a lot of different reasons. So first of all, um, one of the people that commented on my last video was nice enough to let me know. So the, the proprietor of Homelike, or Home Vape, uh, I guess his name is Vasim. And uh, I don't know how active on DFS he is, but um, I just want to let Vasim know once again, thank you for letting the, uh, the prototype go out. Um, on my last video, I did, um, I did guess um, a little bit under how much this razor might be. And um, so forgive me, but I guess... You know, again, this was a prototype razor that got sent out, and um, I hope no one, or if the owner is watching this, um, was thinking that that was any any comment on the, the quality. I am very much um, impressed with the quality of the prototype. So I guess the, excuse me, the production name of this razor is the Calabri. And um, so I think I had quoted that this razor might be like around $150. And um, I think it's a little closer to being 175 to 200. Um, but again, that's for me being in, in the US. And then uh, another one of uh, the people that comments on my video had kind of given a rough price uh, estimate of $25 shipping from Russia. Um, I just, after the last video, had found the uh, the link through Homelike, uh, his YouTube channel. Um, he's been uploading different videos using this razor, and so I was able to find his direct link for the store. And um, I have to say, I'm, I'm really stoked for uh, Vasim. Um, once again, I did mention that I've seen his videos. I'm not like an avid follower of his. Um, part of that is the, the language barrier. But um, kind of seeing some of the comments in uh, his newer videos, this this uh, lavender ethos has taken up this water really well. So I'm going to be able to hop into the shave in just a second. So if you guys can forego my, my glowing comments because... I have to say, I'm, I'm really stoked. And this isn't, like, I don't know Vasim, you know, but I've been in shaving for, for quite a while, you know, the hobby of it, and have met different people, different vendors, you know, um, all, all sorts. But apparently Vasim had tried to create, you know, um, a product and help develop a razor um, some time ago, but I think there was some serious hiccups. Maybe there was some interruptions with manufacturing because based on the comments everyone was just saying like we're glad you're able to get the razor made and um, so um, backing up to the middle of this week this lather is taking up the, uh, the water really well I'm gonna I'm gonna get this shade going right here so I'm gonna use two different base plates um, I'm going to start with the 1.5. I think Keto is the one that 
commented on my last video asking about the the neck shave. Alright, give me a second here, you guys. Okay. So this is my first time trying out the 1.5, which is a closed comb. I got a little confused on my last video because I said I wasn't going to use the 1.3 open comb. I thought there was a 1.5 closed comb and a 1.5 open comb, but it just comes with a closed comb. So um, honestly, I'm feeling fairly confident that this is going to go well. So I'll do it on this side going across the grain first because that seems to work well for me. So this is... Three days beard growth. Um, so what I'm really stoked with is I'll be honest with you guys, I signed up for this pass round really with the intention of, you know, just get to try something a little bit different, a little bit new, something adjustable, like I kind of mentioned in my last video. And after the last two shaves, there's really no reason for me to not be happy with all the razors that I currently have available to me. I would say right now I have four, five razors that I primarily use, but more so, if I were to say, I'm, if I'm not doing all these pass rounds, which is so funny, you guys, the next person, um, or I'm sorry, the, the person previous to me on another pass around just messaged me a couple days ago. So I have all four of these pass rounds that I signed up for and they're all hitting me back to back. So I just find that a little funny. But anyway, the carbon would be kind of like my my main focus of so far this year what I've would have been able to try and find that works really well for a shave. And so I've gotten to try a couple other new razors which are all very good. They're, they're ones that shave really well. The, the things that I've mentioned before that are important to me currently are whatever the geometry of the head is. Oh, geez, I didn't even realize you guys. <laughs> I did this side, so. We'll use the open comb for this second against the grain pass. This uh, 1.5, you guys, um, it does feel a little bit um, more noticeable as far as the the feel. It's, it feels good though. So I might even have to consider getting this one. I apologize if the comments are all over on this, but I do have to say normally I'm not like the most enthusiastic before my shaves. I'm kind of like just deliver the information that I feel is useful to you guys. But I really am stoked. I think, you know, again, part of it is my expectations before getting this were almost non-existent. And so that's what I was going to say is the, uh, the intention was to try this razor, give my feedback. I didn't think that I was really going to be all that impressed with it. But um, let me just change the, uh, the base plate to the open comb. Um, so here, real quick, I'm strongly considering buying this razor. Now again, the, the thing that was sent to me is a setup for the handle, the cap, and then five different various base plates. Um, I think that's great for a new user. For me, it's not that I'm not willing to spend that money, but more or less, I think I'm going to be fine to be able to use one base plate if I find that it works really well for me. So after the last shave, 
I'm able to find the, the correction on the price. It's, it's a little bit more expensive. So I kind of double checked before uh, I got on this shave. Um, Vasim, in my opinion, is very smart. He's made the decision to, on his website, make it available. For someone like me, this is perfect, okay? He allows us to buy the cap by itself, any of the base plates. Um, I do think what I did see before this video is the open comb 1.3 might be out of stock. And it's, it says it's expected. Um, here's the other thing, and this is probably just for whatever reason. He has on there how many different units are in stock. You know, um, maybe he has more, you know, in his, his stock. So I think that sometimes that's interesting because you know, in wet shaving, when we get, oh shit, so I threw this in this new scuttle that I got. Hopefully it didn't kill the lather because it's too hot. Man, it's been a while since I've had like a warm lather like this, so I'm sure it'll be okay. But, you know, you always hear about these releases and obviously it's stuff that are like limited production. Sometimes it's razors, you know, a lot of the times it's brushes and you know, the, the part-time soap makers that, you know, drop a small amount and then you get hundreds of people going on the website to try and get a chance to get it. And then, the, you know, the most frustrating thing is when you guys get on, you get your item, add to cart, go through, you know, most of the time it's people making a PayPal payment, put in all their information, and then what happens is you go to, you know, like process order, or pay and then in that time it's already been scooped up by someone else so you get a message that that product is no longer available so I think being able to have some level of you know number and transparency and understanding how much stock you have it doesn't feel like quite a feeding frenzy that some people you know really kind of despise and it is what it is for me, so the way that I've come to find is I'm just not someone that's really all that interested in products that require that much work. And that's not to say that if someone's watching and really wants like a limited edition product, you know, needs to camp on the site for a little bit, go do what you want. Do what you want. I, it's, it's not going to be me making fun of you. It's just for me personally. I've kind of done a little bit of that years ago, and you know, fortunately for me, I was able to get most of the stuff that I wanted, but I just was really surprised. I think the quality of this is, is very good. I apologize that my nose is always so itchy, you guys. Um, so now I'm going to do my against the grain pass. This is the 1.3 with the open comb. So... After finding the carbon razor, you guys, uh, specifically the, the plus plus plate, which I've been reading lots of reviews, and it seems like a lot of people really like the .68 base plate more than people like the plus plus plate, and that plus plus base plate works so smooth for me. So when all these pass rounds are done, that's really what I'm looking forward to most is first my, my shave with the stainless steel plus plus carbon. I want to throw in a couple shaves with the Lupo aluminum, uh, Razor Rock Lupo, and then the, um, what is it, the BBS one. But... The two shaves, especially in the middle of the week, my second and my third shave using the uh, this razor with the 1.3, I just got to tell you guys, it was incredible. So, I think in my, my first video, which was my second shave, I was kind of grading the quality of my shave at about an eight, eight and a half. And it just so happens that it worked well for me, guys. So I would say, for me, 9 out of 10. 
I don't know, maybe, maybe it could be a, a 10 out of 10. You know, you always get people using different parameters for how they grade something or how they judge something. So again, just because I thought this might be priced a little bit cheaper, it doesn't mean that I, when I found out the actual price being a little higher that I was miffed or felt like, oh, you know, I like it, but it's overpriced and stuff. Maybe I'm the worst person to ask if something's overpriced because most of the time, if I'm curious, I'm willing to oblige whatever the asking price is. Maybe I'm not as discerning as, you know, some of you guys and, and wondering if something's worth, you know, paying the price. But, again, I, I'm very strongly going to be purchasing the cap and the base plate now that I know that those are available. I might even, I might even do the, uh, the 1.5. Last video, I spent a ton of time at the end just feeling, it. and again, the, the only way that I can put it, you guys, is let's say, for instance, my most aggressive razor that I know really well and I've had hundreds of shaves with is both the 2011 and 2013 Mula R41, okay? And that's a faux open comb, but it's got enough, you know, kind of blade overhang to really, in one pass, get rid of a lot of beard. And I found that even though I have sensitive skin, doing a first pass with that type of razor I still want to be very attentive to the angle and the pressure. Now, even when I get a really good shave with the R41, it's more likely to, yes, remove a lot of beard and give me a close shave, but it's, it's fairly easy for me to still get just a little too much skin cut off, okay? So, a lot of the times I would have a great shave with the Mula R41, for example, and this can happen with a lot of razors. Um, the, the BBS-1 especially, too. I really like that razor. It's very efficient. But sometimes those later passes, sometimes a second or a third pass for me, I have to be very attentive to avoid not getting razor burn. Okay? So all I'm going to say, you guys, is these last few shaves with this, the carbon, um, even the haircut and shave, the last one, the haircut and shave razor, the, it's like a $500 titanium razor. I thought the shaves were very, very good. Um, very, very great. I don't know how you want me to, to put it, but the experience and the, the shave quality that I got just off of that 1.3, noticeable in just how intuitive everything was, how everything felt during the shave, after the shave. I think that this, this razor worked better for me than the haircut and shave. So I'm not going to give you this argument of a $500 razor isn't worth it when I can get this, this razor for cheap or cheaper um, and it works well. Everyone's going to have different reasons for purchasing something. Um, so I'm telling you guys, I wanted to be able to give my honest review of this razor package um, and I didn't have any idea that I might be interested. It's enough off of like my second shave, my third shave, right now. My skin feels very calm, but when I touch my face, there's just very little that I'm feeling besides just a shaved face. My skin doesn't feel hot. Now I think on this one, it, it might not have been big, but it looked like there was one little weeper peeking through on the camera. Um, so again, it's like I, I had kind of made this comment uh, I'm lucky that I picked the 1.3 base plate for my first shave and right out of the gate it just seemed to work well with my beard and my skin. So that's kind of where I come from on a lot of these things. When you want to compare different razors, you can, you can compare them for yourself. Um, and I think that it's more than, more than useful to share those with other people and you might find that people have similar preferences to you, but in my case, I think it's helpful to know, like, if this person likes this razor, and they also like this razor, I think it's beneficial to know what kind of skin do they feel like they have, what's their, what's their beard like, how often do they shave, I like to know what kind of blades other people use, um, 
So, I don't know, you guys. I, I normally am not going to have these, these types of comments on most videos. Um, but I will say, I still think for the price, there's probably a good amount of value in purchasing this, this whole kit. I'll show you guys real quick. So, again, this is the little flip case. It's got foam. Got the base plates in there. Um, the quality of the shave is just, it's very good for me. So again, as much as it might be a glowing review, the next person on the pass round or down the line is very likely to get different results. So I, I'm never saying these things are guaranteed for anybody else. I hope that they, they work well. Um, like for instance, I had mentioned Andrew, Raw Fox. He's someone that I like to read his razor reviews. He's tried a lot more than me. And um, he said for him, and this, this might be, Andrew maybe has coarser beard than me. Um, and I still think I have a coarse beard. Um, or maybe his skin is a little bit more sensitive than mine. And I feel like I have sensitive uh, skin. But he said this razor, the geometry didn't work as well for him. He felt like he was getting a little bit more blade chatter and just the smoothness wasn't there. And that's okay. So as much as I like this razor, I'm not offended by his results. And I have to just accept that it is it is how it is. It's very personal. You try to do your best to help other people. Um, for me, if you guys have watched some of my previous videos, I used to be very big on trying to get the open comb versions of razors because I felt like my skin would benefit from the extra efficiency in the earlier passes and I can avoid a third pass. Um, based off of one shave, this didn't hurt. I probably, maybe I like this off of one shave a little bit more than the haircut and shave open comb side. I did like the closed comb. I would much quicker want to get this. You know, I don't know that I'll necessarily buy the handle. Maybe I will. Um, I might want to. I might want to get one of these razors as a, as a gift for somebody because I I felt like super intuitive. So I don't know what more I can say, you guys. So Vasim, if uh, if I'm saying that right, I think uh, you have a great way of being able to sell these on your website. Um, chances are I'm going to be purchasing one later this year. Um, with uh, COVID, you know, we'll kind of hear, I think, a little bit more on how the shipping times are, because I'm sure some people in the U.S. will, will let people know, hey, I ordered this, and we can kind of see how quickly everything gets over to, to this side. But, um, I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure sometimes how people can tell over the camera if it looks like it's a good shave. I would say normally it's pretty easy to tell if I'm going to have a little bit of razor burn later. Maybe this looks a little red down here, you can't really tell. but So there it is. For once I kind of give a very verbal glowing review. I apologize that I can't give you guys the exact converted rate of like if I wanted to get this razor, how much is it going to be in USD. Um, it was a little confusing for me. Um, because when I go on the website, there's a couple characters after the currency or the number, but I think, um, if, if it's using the Russian ruble, I think one USD is like around 0.7 or 0.8 of a ruble. So I think the US dollar is a little stronger. Um, so I think it's, it's still affordable in my opinion, but, um, it's not going to be the cheapest razor that you can get. So, in my experience, you guys, if you want a very efficient and a very um, smooth shaving razor, this seems to be it for me. And that's, you know, having used, you know, uh, low tier price, mid tier, high tier price. Um, but when it works, it works for me, and I don't really care what the price is. But, um, I hope that this razor down the pass around line, you guys are able to find whatever, you know, 
know, blade works well, the base plates. Um, so maybe I didn't say that. The open comb is fine. I'd probably just choose the 1.3 and I might get the 1.5. So I would have given the 1.5 shave another, another go if I had more time, but I'm gonna be shipping this out tomorrow. So I hope you guys are all having a great weekend. Um, stay cool. If you guys um, happen to follow this channel on YouTube or whatever, um, I'm still uploading next week's shaves are using a couple of the, the damn fine shave uh, straight razor pass around. It's another, uh, what is it, company from Russia. So, uh, and then after that, one more damn fine shave pass around with the carbon titanium. So, anyway, final thoughts. Home like uh, razor, very, very good. Highly recommend it. Just got to see which base plate you want to get or if you want to just get the whole collection. This is going to be the packaging. Um, I don't know that I could be any happier considering the fact that I didn't have to pay for this other than shipping it back to the next person. But um, chances are I will be purchasing it even though I don't feel like I need it at all. It just worked that great that I want to have the, the razor at some time in the near future. So yeah, again, uh, very high re regards uh, in my opinion. So. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hopefully you guys are getting good shaves and let me know if you guys have any just follow-up questions even though I'm, I'm done using the razor. So I will talk to you guys soon.